So here we are, in the shitty of Ottawa. The big shitty. And, uh, I'm the commonly known as Max Radigo, and I got something to talk about. A couple days ago, uh, there was a... a march that started far away, and it came close to, uh, to here. It came, uh, to the Parliament buildings, and it was really happy because they believe that there's some unity coming about, uh, you know, how the treatment of aboriginals is, uh, is being acknowledged. So, the end of the journey for Nishuyu walkers, walkers. Um, only the beginning of their message. So apparently they're gonna they're gonna keep working or doing something. I wanted to. There was something here. Ni the walkers and there's um, you know is the Cree Nation that was organizing this. Um, Victoria Island. That's where they're hanging out. Look, of course it comes back to the Idle No More movement. Now. I don't support the Idle No More movement at all. Um, I support moving. I support not being stagnant. I support. Um, I support. Okay, it's what is a notice? Notice is two words. If you take the, if you put a space in between them, it's a not not ice. So it's not ice anymore because ice, you know, is is stagnant, right? It's it's, it's water when it's frozen. So after a 1,600 kilometer snowshoe journey, a troop of Cree youth, youth from James Bay region of Quebec, sat down and they wept on the steps of Parliament Hill on Monday. Uh, it was an emotional moment at the end of a voyage designed to unite historic allies, acknowledged Aboriginal cult, to unite historic allies and acknowledge Aboriginal culture and language. So, there's something about um, coming together as a group. The group, which began with six young people and a guide two months ago in northern Quebec, gained hundreds of supporters along the way before it ended at Ottawa's Victoria Island on Monday. The ceremony also turned into a mass march to Parliament Hill, which closed downtown Ottawa streets. Now, now, see here, like, we know that this here, this is the intelligence. I'm not saying that, that CSIS is the newspapers, but we know that, that, we know that, uh, that the editors, um, you know, they need to use certain words in order to get you. So, I'll continue. Several protesters carried Idle No More signs. So, if you're carrying an Idle No More sign, you are a protester. Like, we, we all know that there's this thing called terrorism, and I did a video quite some time ago about the Black Bloc, and what I thought was, like, incredibly uh, antagonistic wording, uh, that the Black Bloc uh, were not, not terrorists, but that terrorism was taking place. And then less than three months later, um, the, the, uh, the firebombing of Royal Bank happened just over there just down the street so that's that facilitated a lot of the uh, the costs for the G20 which turned out to be just a, a farce everything that happened with the G20 because everybody got arrested because of uh, guilty by association guilty by association so everybody who had the actual uh, the phone numbers uh, you know so if you had the same tattoos as me you, you, we would be, you know, guilty by association. So if I did something criminal, they could pick you up for questioning and detain you for 72 hours. So, um, there's something important here I wanted to touch on. Idle No More supporters and several First Nation chiefs have now vowed to reignite mass protest efforts by summer to protest the government's resource development agenda. I don't know if anybody has heard what I've had to say about uh, this this chief. There's a chief, and she's a female. I'm not saying that females can't be chiefs. I'm just saying she would be a clan mother. She's not a clan mother. There, there's, and what is First Nations? First Nations is uh, is a uh, 
is a, um, how do you say, a political party? It's just a party. They're just partying. Okay, so all this, uh, leaders, take me to your leader. You know, is there a leader? It's time to, uh, protest the hero. That's the name of a band, and it's my sweater that I'm wearing, and unicorns are rhinoceroses, and I might be all over the place with what I'm talking about, but I'm not angry about it, but I'm very concerned that there may or may not be something coming this summer with the natives, and that they're going to have some sort of a shutdown of the, uh, of the highways, when, frankly, I'm gonna, I want to do that. I want to shut down these roads. Not because I don't want you to go to work, it's because there's a lot of advantage to having a parade. Let's have a parade in order to bring a lot of, uh, a lot of recognition to some of the issues uh, that may or may not be happening, like we all work too hard. That's a seriously big issue. But I'm not saying you have to quit your job or do anything like that, I'm just saying there's a lot of credence to, to, uh, to thinking and to uh, going forward with a lot of things like there was there was something that happened not so long and it was all united underneath the uh, the auspice of occupying and if you can see right there I'm not sure if you can see that's uh, Guy Fox the Guy Fox mask just a little tiny bit of research and you can find out that Guy Fox yes he was thwarted from blowing up the parliament but he wasn't trying to blow up the parliament because he didn't like government. He was trying to blow up the parliament because a guy named King James had organized a large committee of people so that the King James Bible would be an authorized, non-copywritten law book for us all to hold and say, I, I stand under this and I can say it's mine because King James is even claiming it's his because it happens to be the received text. It's not the Alexandrian text, which is every other uh, translation of the Bible, or the Word, or whatever you want to call it. So the thing is, is, yes, we need to unite, but we don't need to unite so that we're all against each other, or so that we're all against one thing, because as JFK said, and they killed, they killed him for saying this, is that it has nothing to do, it has absolutely nothing to do with flesh and blood. This is a fight between principalities, and... Uh, I don't know how much more time we have to do or how many more people have to die before we can actually stop fighting so much, but uh, I just wanted to make this video. I hope uh, everybody's doing great. And me personally, I just want to I want to walk around and I want to play some music. I don't even want any money for it. Or we can just play music like they did in the 80s.